Would you like to have a design like this? So let's get started. You need well pigmented watercolors, but you can try with the watercolors you already have. For example, Daniel Smith's paints were used in this video. We start by drawing the slices of the future lime, leaving small gaps between the pieces. Next, with a barely darker shade of green on several already drawn slices closer to the peel, add a little shadow and draw the peel with the same color, also with a slight indent, leaving an empty space between the pulp and the peel. An even darker green color adds a shadow to the lime and blurs the paint. Try to create an effect, as if the lime is lying on the surface and not just floating. And some brush splashes with watercolors, yellows, and greens. Usually, the paint will dry on its own, but you can remove excess water to speed up the drying process with a dry brush. Cover with a matte top. And you're done.